What's up, Maniacs? It's Fazzy Snacks here. Um, I'm late on my upload this week. Um, it's Thursday, and uh, for the past 14 weeks, I have uploaded on a Monday. I'm really proud of that. Um, the reason I'm late this week, um, simply I've been busy um, with my new job. Um, also, I went to Izu last weekend, and that's what I'm mainly going to be talking about um, in this video. As opposed to news topics, I'm going to be talking all about my trip to New York and Electric Zoo. Um, and I guess the third reason is um, an expansion to my favorite video game, Destiny 2, uh, has come out. And so I've been grinding on that as well. Um, but um, on Electric Zoo, long story short, it was amazing. Um, I just went Saturday, um, and I was hanging out um, at main stage uh, most of the show. Um, I didn't really venture off to the other stages. I saw a little bit of a few acts, but um, everyone I wanted to see was really on the main stage. And I know that's, you know... Not the not everyone would be happy with that, um, seeing as they want to kind of learn new music at a festival and discover new things. Um, I'm all for that, but I, there were just so many um, people that I'd never seen before. Um, I saw it start off with whipped cream. She was the first one. Uh, she threw down pretty hard right as the day started at 1 p.m. Um, let's see, I had the lineup behind me. Um, I saw Kadeko, Bonnie and Clyde, Party Favor was amazing, Cash Cash, uh, I see, I've seen them before, but they were also amazing, um, Alan Walker, uh, second time seeing him, Rez, I had to see her, um, uh, I saw her last year on a side stage, and to see her evolve into what she's become today, um, on the main stage, right before Cascade came out, um, that's a huge spot for her. Uh, who knows, she could be headlining next year at the rate she's going. Um, amazing set. It was so much fun. Um, and then, the best part of the day, um, I was to the right of the main stage, and Cascade was being interviewed by Sirius XM Radio. He finished up his interview, and he walked over to the rails, and um, he signed some autographs, and I actually got his attention. And um, on my mini whiteboard that I brought, um, see the previous video on where I used that, the mini whiteboard I, whiteboard I wrote, um, Cascade Loves Boston, and he actually held it, and I got an awesome picture um, of Cascade holding the sign and like pointing up at it. Um, it's in my last video, the very last picture. Um, it was a super fanboy moment. I was starstruck. I, I hadn't even been that big of a Cascade fan, just because I never really went into his music that much as I have with other DJs, but now I'm totally 100% um, super fan because of what he did. Um, just moments like that really... Uh, make um, can make your day and it makes everything all worth it. Um, after Cascade, of course, was Martin Garrix. Um, one hell of a show. The lights were amazing. Fireworks display. He played banger after banger. It was amazing. The crowd was super fun. Um, there were probably 80, 90,000 people there. It was way more packed than last year, and I went all three days last year. Um, there were By 3 p.m., the main stage area was mobbed in anticipation mainly for Rez, Cascade, and Martin Garrix. Um, what else? The food was awesome. I ran out of money really fast spending on Gatorades because it was super hot um, and I did a lot of walking. Um, I met tons of people. You can see that in my last video. I uploaded it two days after the festival. Met people from all over the world. Probably almost 10 countries and probably 15 or so states. Um, it was awesome talking to everyone and um, getting them, uh, seeing their smiles and dancing. Um, dance moves and everything like that. Um, overall, it was an amazing experience. New York is really cool. Um, everyone, and, and what I want to say instead of a joke or anecdote um, that I usually do to, re to uh, cap off a video, instead I want to focus on um, a piece of advice, and that is to go to a festival. Um, you need to go to one. If you haven't ever been, um, do it while you're young, while you can, before you're, before you're settled down. It's just an amazing experience. Um, everyone is, is so accepting, and you can go for who you are. You can meet new people. You can discover new music. You can um, just live the atmosphere. Everyone's so friendly. I have never, I've never. been to many festivals now, and I've never seen a fight at a festival. Yeah, occasionally you'll get a drunk frat boy who pushes someone because he got nudged and his drink fell. That's going to happen everywhere. But I've never seen a fist fight. I've been to rap concerts. There's fights all the time. Rock concerts. There's fights. 
not nothing against those concerts, but um, at an EDM festival, I've never seen major hostility. Um, so my number one recommendation is to check out a festival, go with a friend, or go by yourself. This past festival, I really went by myself. I could do whatever I wanted when I wanted. I didn't have to wait for anyone. I didn't have to find anyone when they got lost. It was the first time I went to a festival by myself, and I, it was probably the most fun I've ever had. It kind of forces you to meet new people. Again, do whatever you want. I knew people that were there, and I actually ran into a few of them, but I never planned anything. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, go to a festival, and uh, Izu, I'll be there next year. I might be going to a festival coming up. I won't announce anything yet, but um, yeah. Take care, everyone. Fazzy Snacks out.